Why, hello there. I am back. Christina Marie here. Today, sorry, I'm just like all kinds of messed up here. Today, I thought I would do something a little different. I don't think I've ever done this, ever. In my four years of being on this channel, I don't think I've ever done this. I don't think I've ever done a booktuber's recommendation. Ever. So we're going to rectify that. Um, I've been on booktube for four years. And I've seen a lot of booktube channels. The reason why I have picked these five is because they have been very influential in my growth as a booktuber. One of them I honestly just met a week ago on Twitter or on YouTube. And honestly, this person really inspired me. And I, I just, I, I just, I needed to include this person on the list. I have five, five of them. No particular order. The first one, the first person that I honestly say I connected with almost instantly on booktube is Jen from Today in Jen's Library. Um, I have been a fan of her channel since I found it. Um, she is a lover of audiobooks. She's the one that actually got me into audiobooks. I love how passionate she is. I love how funny she is. I love her book selections. Um, I love how heartfelt she is when it comes to various things. She writes such intentional you know, meaningful comments on my videos. And she just has a lot of um, knowledge, you know, when it comes to audiobooks, really. She is the one that really got me to pay attention to what I was listening to. She got me into audiobooks, made me listen to how things were being said, how moods were being portrayed when it comes to audiobooks. Because before Jen, I never really cared to listen to an audiobook. And now I've listened to about three or four of them since I started talking to her and watching her videos and I like them a lot. <laughs> so Jen's just been a really, really great influence in my booktube development. All of the channels, by the way, will be linked down below. The next person is someone that I recently started really talking to, but I've been watching her channel for a while. She um, is the creator of a fantastic fantastic read-a-thon um she's a mother she's a booktuber you know she's just a fantastic all-around person and I'm talking about Shannon over at Leaning Lights Shannon is she's fun Shannon is a lot of fun she makes me laugh we talk on Twitter all the time we have a great love for Bob Ross so we are coming up with the Bob Ross book tag <laughs> yeah we just we, we have fun together I enjoy talking to her um she's just she's just such an open honest person we have a lot in common our views on various things are very very much aligned and it's just a lot of fun getting to know her as a person her videos of course are so much fun um she you know I get a lot of book recommendations from her and I just enjoy her as a person she's just the minute you watch start watching her videos you're just like oh my gosh she's a friend you just get that vibe from her and I got that vibe from her videos immediately now the third person is the person that really honestly impressed me from the moment I saw their videos which was seriously a week ago but I had to include this person on the list because the chemistry like the the passion for what this person does it's so tangible like the first video I saw, I immediate, immediately was like, I would love to collab with this person. I would love to just get to know this person because they're fantastic. Their videos are just on point. The comedic timing is just perfect. And yes, it's a booktube channel, but the way that they put words together, the way that they just make their viewers laugh. I just, I'm on board for it. I was chuckling so hard at, at, at just the quick wit of this person. Spot on. And I'm talking about Mike over at Slice of Mike. He probably is like, what? <laughs> but yeah, I simply 
enjoy him. Like I only met him a week ago through, like I said, YouTube and Twitter, but I'm so on board for him. So on board for his channel. So on board for just how fun he is. You know, how fantastic um, of a booktuber he is. He's only been on booktube for about a year, I think. And he's just so much fun. He's the type of guy that we would have read a lot of similar books, but we would also will have read a lot of very different books. So having that kind of a person, you know, to kind of feed off of really one makes great content for your channel and two always challenges you to read more diversely and read other genres that you normally wouldn't read and Mike is just perfect at at doing that I just adore his channel and I can't wait to see more from him so definitely Mike from Slice of Mike now this next person seriously one of my favorite people ever because they keep it real they keep it honest. They don't have no time for you and your feelings. I'm I'm about it. I'm all about it because one, even though our um, delivery is a, our deliveries are different, but our intentions are 100% the same. Like a lot of what this person talks about is a lot of what I feel. I don't know whether he's, he, it's a guy, he's more direct with it and I'm more charismatic with it. I don't know what, what the description would be, but the way that he gives zero concerns about what you think, I'm all about that. I live that motto every day. I give zero concerns. I usually don't say concerns. I have a dirty mouth, guys, but you know, we're going to keep this. G P G, you know, meet me off this channel. <laughs> I am honestly, while I am the same person on, you know, camera versus off camera, I'm a lot more flavored off camera um, by choice, you know. But anyway, the person I'm talking about, Richard over at Richard Denny. I love Richard. You can't, you can do, you can say no wrong about Richard for me and that's simply because I think booktube needs to be a place where people are more extreme than others where people have you know more polarizing opinions than others where people will call you out on your shit for lack of better phrasing um where people won't settle for mediocrity where they won't just sit by and let booktube become a thing that it quite frankly is much better than you know um and booktube is very organic it's very very it's ever changing it's different yesterday today tomorrow i respect people like that and there are a lot of people who will ha will have a bad taste for richard they won't really adore him i don't really think he cares um, there are people who enjoy him and there are people who don't like him and I'm one of those people that do like him I like most people honestly if I don't like you you know one I don't talk to people I don't like and that's simply because that that's a self-preservation thing I'm not trying to lose energy over somebody that I don't enjoy being around or talking to plus I'm horrible at faking kindness which is a horrible thing to say but I'm horrible I'm, I'm bad at it I'm really bad at being nice to people that I don't like I will respect you and I will you know treat you with the respect that you deserve as a human being but I'm not going to go out of my way to 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 be that overly compassionate person because compassion is hard y'all compassion takes a lot of energy and I'm human he's still working on me but I'm human and I just I, I can't do it all and so <laughs> Richard is actually my permission that being human and being real and being open and being honest is okay especially here on booktube so big ups to Richard I adore you keep doing you don't let the haters get you down you know all of those things so Richard Denny 
Uh, I adore him. Then the final person is actually almost like the exact opposite of Richard. She um, is one of the most kind-hearted people I have ever talked to. She's just so, so friendly, but also just really insightful. I've learned a lot from her. I enjoy her videos, I enjoy her voice, very soothing, very calm, but also she's just a nice person. I, I enjoy her. Her channel is great, her book recommendations, her book reviews, her book videos, fantastic. But can you see what I'm doing here? There's a pattern here. I, I connect with people through their videos, yes, but I am such a, I don't like people. People annoy me. I, I, I'm very particular with the type of people that I allow into my life and into my space because I am very guarded. I, res I, I like my privacy. I like my personal space. I'm very prote uh, protective of my space and my time because it's mine and once somebody takes it from me, I can't get that back. And so I remember when I first met this person, when I first met her, she just, I knew immediately that I was just like, oh, I adore you already. I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna adore you as a person. You as a person, you're, you're, you're the reason why I go to your channel. And the person I'm talking about is Patty from I Smell Books. Patty, uh, just big heart to you, honestly. Um, just how kind hearted she is, is, is the first thing that I notice whenever I see a video of hers. Um, she's the one that actually inspired me to want to go to BEA and BookCon. Am I doing it this year? Highly doubt it, but you know, eventually. I just enjoy her videos. I enjoy her heart, her spirit, her love for books, everything. She's just a joy to watch. So yes, Patty, I adore you. Richard, you're great. Mike, keep it up. Shannon, Mwah, and Jen, oh gosh. I mean, this this group of people, these men and women are of but a small pool in the book tubiverse. But they are the five that I think of when I think of what has made my booktube experience great. Granted, there are tons more people. There's Maureen from Maureen Kiwi, who I heart to pieces, who I'm going to visit next week. There's Jesse the Reader, who I adore, two pieces. One of the very first booktubers I ever started watching, who I'm going to visit next week. Um, there's, you know, of course, Christine, there's Kat, there's other people that I can't think of right now, but these five, they're probably the reason why I am still making videos. A lot of pressure to have said that, but they're probably the reason why I'm still making videos and enjoying making videos. I'll put it that way. So this video is getting long winded because I get wordy and emotional and all the things. So I'm gonna link their channels down below. Make sure you check them out, you guys. I really don't think you'll regret it. Um, thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of video. Of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, do do the thing where you write the words in the, in the space and comment, you know. I don't know. Good night. Bye. I'm going to sleep. <laughs>